The last motor we will discuss is the hybrid motor. This type of stepping motor borrows characteristics from both permanent magnet and variable reluctance motors. This slide shows a side view of a hybrid stepper motor with the rotor removed. The rotor is magnetized and also has teeth. Each stator now has a number of teeth or poles as well. Looking closer at the rotor itself, we can see that the rotor is actually in two sections or cups, one in the front and one in the back. The two rotor cups are opposite in polarity. On the right side of the slide is a close-up view of the individual teeth on the rotor cups. The north rotor cup is represented in red and the south rotor cup in green. Notice that the teeth on one cup is offset by one tooth to the teeth on the other cup. This slide shows the hybrid stepper motor reassembled and turned for a front view. Referring to the winding diagram on the right and the stator pole configuration on the left, we can see that each winding actually energizes four stator poles at once, once energized. Let's look closer at how this motor actually rotates. Applying a voltage to each of the windings, we will control the direction of current flow thereby controlling the polarity of each stator pole. In this slide, notice that stator poles A and A prime are aligned perfectly with one of the rotor cup's teeth. On the other hand, B and B prime stator poles are actually halfway, with half of the pole attracting one cup's tooth while repelling the other. The next step in the sequence changes current direction in winding A by reversing the applied voltage. Winding B maintains current direction from the previous state. Look how this affects the motor's position. Notice now that stator poles A and A prime are now half on each rotor cup, while stator poles B and B prime line up perfectly with each cup. The rotor has rotated a very small amount thanks to the construction of the hybrid motor components. The motor pictured has a step angle of 1.8 degrees per step. This is a significant improvement over the basic permanent magnet motor we had looked at before. This step resolution can be further improved through the use of different stepping techniques that are discussed in part two of this web seminar series.